Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Survival. So two weeks ago, I asked everybody what the best names would be for our two horses here. One is male, one is female. And there were some very good suggestions. Obviously we can't have all of them. But the one which got the most votes was Massey and Ferguson. But I'm actually going to go beyond that. There was another person, another viewer, who suggested Missy and Fergus. <laughs> Uh, so based on Massey and Ferguson, so um, I think we're going to go with it. Now I don't know which one is actually the male and which one is the female, although it would be quite obvious with the male. Have you ever seen one of those things? They're like projectiles. But um, <laughs> yes, I have chosen this one over here to be Missy. Hello Missy. And this one here is Fergus. So yeah, I have renamed them appropriately, as you can see. I think we should probably get a horse helper if that is compatible with the breeding. Hopefully it is. Um, but yeah, everything else seems to be good there. So we can leave them to it. What we really do need is the oats. And we don't have any oats currently. I asked everybody as well what you think a sensible price would be for fur number five. And £30,000, obviously not that. £30,000 was the uh, the chosen figure. So we don't own it, despite it being green. We would have to pay 30 to get that. We currently have 28, so we're not far off, but we're not quite there yet. Anyway, we have some chicken's eggs to sell. So let's just get this fired up. And then we need to return here to sort out this field. I think I will actually leave the bucket here. And then we can take the tractor back. I still would like to put a front loader on the Matty Ferguson. Every fur that we own is empty. And although that isn't really the best place to be keeping the combine, it kind of looks good. Right, I've got the pallet fork. As I've said several times, we are going to also take down some of these trees. I think what I might do is actually place some really nice birch trees or something. Ones that don't grow in the game just to make it look nicer because now these are fully regrown or fully grown I should say they are huge okay so there we go 1422 litres it doesn't sound like a huge amount but that is actually going to bring in quite a bit of money and what we're going to do is put this into the trailer for the car and then we can take it quickly so there is my car I haven't actually used it too much I like it, I think it's a very nice car, we should use it more and then as for lowering it down, well <laughs> it's gonna have to be gentle-ish I'll try my best won't necessarily be super smooth, but uh, let's just see here. Oh, almost pulled the car over, but yeah, that's good enough. So with parts out of the way, we're going to need the Ursus to do our cultivating. Uh, we should probably put a couple of straps over that. There we go. And now we're ready to head off. We're going to the usual cell point, or the usual egg cell point. And yes, we're still selling the honey. Plenty of honey. The fruit trees continue to fill their crates with lovely, delicious fruit. But yeah, they're only about half full, I think. So it's going to be a few more episodes before we can sell any more fruit. And it sells it so quickly. What we could do with really is a massive orchard. I didn't even realise, but there is a great demand on for eggs, and the price at the moment is just unbelievable. I right, try and guess what it is per 1,000 litres before I show you. Well, if you guessed anything like 12,000 
599 well done because that's what it is this is going to be a large amount of money from just a very small crate a very small partially filled crate it does help of course if I actually get it into the trigger there we go so here we now have 47,000 pounds so what was that, that was like 18,000 pounds worth not bad at all right so let's head back see how fast we can make it up the hill we're doing 31 my foot is to the floor I don't think it slows down too much although we do have the trailer on that's not bad 19 right so we're parts out of the way we do need to expand the uh, the yard here I don't know if we should do that now. I think what we'll do is we'll go and cultivate the top field. Then we'll come back here. We'll extend the yard. We'll do some graveling. Extend this gravel. And then I will cultivate the remaining area. Although maybe this could be our huge orchard. Yeah, that could be good. And those trees there, they're going to be worth so much money. I love the look of that with the trees and the birds. Right, okay. Come on, Ursus. We have some cultivating to do. Shame somebody rotated my cultivator. Okay, so we just need to fit these onto there. And we're now ready to go. The mighty Ursus. Now, in case you're wondering exactly what I'm doing, I'm cultivating the existing field, but I'm also going to cultivate the grass area. Some of you may think it's a bit of a shame, but I'm actually going to reseed it with grass. And I think, yeah, the, the reason for doing this is because then we can fertilize it properly. I don't think, although I might be wrong, uh, that that area, the, the current grass area, can be fertilized just because it isn't strictly a field. It, it's not actually within a, a boundary of a field. So, that's what we'll do. We will turn it into a field. I really do love this area. It's so nice. So that is the field which we might buy in a minute. We have a crop there. Obviously we could buy any of these. And I think I might also expand this field. Yes, if we extend it up here, then that really is making the most of it. You can see this farmer here, whoever owns this field, they've just gone straight over the track. They don't mind people driving through it. They're just making the most of their land. Right, so yes, we'll get this area done. It also gets rid of the brush, the weeds. I don't know how far our boundary goes down here. I would imagine it's level with the other field. Just there. Uh, it might go a bit further, but yeah, not to worry. Okay, so that is now ready for reseeding. We'll just finish this final piece. And it really does show the scale of the field again. When it was all weeds, you couldn't really tell how big or how small the field was. And it's probably yeah, a bit bigger than what I was expecting. Yeah, it's not a bad not a bad sized field at all. So, yeah, that piece there. And yes, we are definitely gonna buy a new field today. Most likely that one there. 
but I do need to get some crops in the ground. So I also think we should probably get a new drill, if we can do. The issue with the drills is that they are just expensive, <laughs> and we have to stick with vintage stuff. So if there's nothing bigger in our price range, uh, which is vintage, we can't change it. But anyway, first things first, a yard extension. And when I say a yard extension, I mean a very small yard extension. But we can always make it bigger in the future. Oh yes, and I really could do with having the Matty Ferguson with the front loader just here to clean up the chickens. It doesn't matter which Matty Ferguson, just <laughs> one of them. Right, so as you can see, this corner here is fairly level. Perfectly level enough for a yard. I think before I do anything, I will actually just texture the ground. Uh, that's a waste of money. I thought that was the right texture. There we go, that's the one we want. So, yes, I'm going to try and keep this as square as possible. It's a good job I'm using a square tool. That should be enough. I'm hoping. Let's just zoom in. I think, yeah, we'll keep some grass on the inside of the fence, but not on the outside. Look at that, I've made a mess. And we may well fence this in the future. Uh, the, yeah, question is, do we keep that piece of fence? I think we should do. Well, there should be a post on the end. That's the only issue. I guess if I remove it, uh, that post is going to disappear as well. It did do. Okay. Ah, my fence has turned up again. Lovely. Yep, so we'll just keep like that. We, we, there are placeable fences, so we can actually do a proper one. Um, but that shouldn't be an issue. So now we need to think about buildings. I'm thinking maybe just there. Another one of them. We do need to be careful with the money. But yeah, that'd be a good fit. I know the ground does slip away a bit on that side, so if we can keep it over this side, that'd be good. Okay. Ah, oh, it changed the texture. Uh, not to worry. I think it's fairly level still. Right. Good. Yes, a fence would definitely look good in here. And probably a grass margin. Put the grass margin in now. And yes, we'll put it all the way to the top. In fact, yes, why don't I just extend the gravel all the way up to there? Because we can access the yard from this side. Right. That's good. That's very good. Nice. It already looks like a completely different place. So yeah, we just need to think about getting the fence put in, or maybe a hedge, actually. Yes, a hedge would be even better. Uh, we can do that next time. Um, but we are now left with this, and that's actually still not a bad size field at all. We may well turn it into an orchard in the future. We will see. And that's the Combine's home. It's not the greatest home. I suppose it could go in the new shed. It just looks good. Ah yes, and the dip just there, which has been annoying me for the entire series, I think we should level out. So let's just see what we can do about that. Yes, we're going to have to increase the strength of the brush. Okay, I didn't seem to do uh, too much at all. Let's bring the whole ground up. And then we'll smooth it. Okay. Right. It looks better. I think it's better. The thing is, it's always going to slip away because it's going down a valley into the trees. But yes, that is a, a vast improvement. Very good. Things are really improving around here. Uh, 
As much as I'd love to put the grass back in the ground over at the other farm, I think the priority really is oats, because if we run out of oats, then we've basically run out of good horse feed. So, <laughs> as opposed to bad horse feed. Yeah, it's going to be um, a bit of a rush to get that in. So I'm just going to park over here. I'm going to grab uh, probably the Massey Ferguson, actually. And we'll start drilling. I did take a look. I couldn't see anything. Not anything suitable, anyway. So, yeah, you can see here. That one just stands out like a sore thumb. That's the one we have to use. It's a good drill. But it is only two metres. So I'm going to be on the lookout for next time. See if we can improve it. As I'm here with the tractor with nothing on the back, I'll take this opportunity just to tip this. It won't take too much. Let me just boost it a bit. Just guaranteeing that we never run out. Yeah, it's so dark with those trees. We can really brighten the place up. Um, right, so there is my drill, as usual, stuck behind something else. Although, yeah, that sweeper is very, very light. We should already have seed. Yep. And we just want to select oats, and we're ready to go. And look, we can go through here. Very nice. The first field of oats is going in. And yeah, I'm going to do every single field of oats. Every single one. Call me boring, but it means we only have to do it once. We can have a really good supply, good stockpile, and then we can do other stuff. But I am really considering more and more having a fruit orchard, not just the trees going up the, uh, the, the farm track, up the driveway. I don't know if we'll put them here, but certainly somewhere on the farm. There we go. So we have our grass field done. I knew the oat field wasn't going to take too long, uh, but it was even faster than I was expecting. So yeah, I just came straight up here and got this done as well. Fantastic. So I think for the final section of this video, we're going to be looking at the new field just over here. What we need to do, because I technically own it according to the game, but I don't own it. So what we need to do is Basically, just remove £30,000 out of a bank account. Uh, it looks good, actually. It goes right down the valley. So, yes, I didn't normally show doing this, but, yeah, this is all we have to do. 30000 uh, We now have 10370 Let's go and get the Combine Harvester. What we will do this time is make sure we have the header trailer. And we'll at least start to do the harvesting, but it won't take too long. It's unfortunate that this isn't an oat crop. It looks to be a wheat crop, uh, which is fine for the chickens. 
but not fine for the horses. The cultivator can live outside. Other stuff can go under the shelter. The shelter is more for vehicles. So I think, yeah, the combine, when, once it's finished, that'd be a good place for it. Let's just go and grab the trailer. It is somewhere down here, abandoned. There it is. Yeah, and that field will be done next time. The combine can tow the trailer. We'll park the Ursus over here. And yeah, next time we are definitely putting a hedge in. It looks so much nicer. As for the trailer, um, I don't know, <laughs> actually, most of my trailers are taken up. We do need to get a new trailer. I don't know, we might just do enough today to fill the combine. And then we can deal with the trailer situation next time. Right, I don't really want to be driving on the new oat field, but yeah. Off we go. The nice thing about this field is we have plenty of space to put the header trailer. Right, see, so yeah, I'm looking forward to heading down the field. It looks intriguing with the woodland at the bottom. Right, we are ready to go. No idea how quickly it's going to fill up. It hasn't been fertilised. But it's better than buying a fill with no crop in it. Right. Judging by the current fill rate, we we probably will be able to harvest the whole field. So that's pretty good. We've got a maize crop over there. I think that is the Deep Valley a road? Yep. This map has actually been expanded, I think, since I downloaded this version. There's certainly a newer version out. Ah, look at this place. Is this the edge of the map? I thought it was, but it's done very nicely. Very nice. So yeah, as for the crop in this field, I did say oats in every field. I was referring to the fields that we already owned. I think yeah, we, we probably will do oats. Just do one massive load to last for ages. And we can probably expand the field into these trees a bit. I suppose, yeah, we're almost at 20%. We probably won't be able to harvest the entire field, but we'll see. That was so hard to predict. It's going to be about 75%, which is still very good. Um, as for the wheat, I think we'll probably be selling it unless we decide to get loads and loads more chickens, which we could do. Uh, we already have quite a few, uh, but we know how much money they can make. So we'll keep it in the combines tank for now. 
I'll think about it over the next week and next time we can decide what the best thing to do is. Obviously we're going to mini bail this, the bells will be sold or potentially kept for the horses, but yeah, the horses aren't going to get through it very quickly. We do actually already have some straw, so uh, yeah, I don't think we need to have too much. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.